That smells terrible. <laughs> Greens products though, always. I don't think a Greens product ever tastes really good. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the reaction you want when you when you open up your container. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy James. Back at it again. You guys know the deal. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, all of that good stuff. It's a little dark in here. What the hell? This is like episode three, I think, in the Stronger Brother Day series. I'm kind of lost. I think we're episode three. We are 11 weeks out. Today, oh my goodness. Today, is actually a max effort lower body day. I'm gonna actually take you guys in there. We're gonna do a deadlift. I think I'm gonna go to a three, maybe a five rep max. We shall see. I think the goal is gonna be to hit 675 for multiple reps in a set. And then maybe do a drop down and hit an eight rep. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, the goal is to start throwing some more deadlift in. My squat's been going up consistently. Um, so now I'm working a speed wave in on my deadlift and then with the speed uh, speed wave, I'm going to start incorporating more deadlift from the floor because I'm, I'm, I just need to, f I, I figured out a couple issues that I was having. I think my feet were too wide. My stance was awkward. For some reason, my deadlift felt really bad and my strength has been off. And I think it has something to do with my foot placement, putting my hips out of position, whatnot so today first time deadlifting from the floor heavy in a while so we're going to work that and the goal is going to be 675 for some reps so whether that's three or five we shall see i would say three um and then maybe a back off set of eight if i could hit 605 for eight i think that'd be really really good i'd be happy with that it is beautiful out seven o'clock a little after seven it's gonna be a late day as always um probably won't do too much after that nothing crazy today really just focusing on the deadlift and maybe like one or two accessories and go from there i'm going to include a clip here of something that we filmed yesterday because i was gonna do this on the same day that i worked out but i ended up working out yesterday because it was peach's dog class so i didn't work out after work um, but we filmed, we got some new samples. So I'm gonna throw that clip in here as I head to the gym and then I'll check in with you guys after that clip when I'm at the gym. It's weird, it's funky, I know. If you don't care about us testing out some new Blast House samples, go ahead and skip forward like five minutes and you'll see me at the gym. All right guys, we're doing, it's a special day. We got some samples fresh off the assembly line. For Blast House, a bunch of the new products that are coming out or that we're trying to come out with in, in the future. We're gonna try them out today, see how they stack up. We got Manny. You, up, guys all, you guys all know Manny. And we got Jason who does all the graphics and labels and logos. We're gonna try out this new stuff that we just got and see how it holds up. What? Medium. Is that what it looks like? I'm dying to find a tiny ass chair. You look like a giant. Of mixed greens and reds, which is mixed berry, as well as pineapple mango. And then we have a new flavor of EAA strawberry mango. So we're gonna try all these out. We'll do the greens, because Green. greens notoriously is terrible tasting. And if it sucks, then we have other things to cleanse our palate. We'll go, let's go mixed berry first. Let me fuck with it. Right. Let's do it. So we'll go mixed berry. Ugh. That does not smell good. Beautiful reaction. That smells terrible. Greens products though, always I don't think a greens product ever tastes really good. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the reaction you want when you when you open up your container. <laughs> so. Ice 
smelling things. Is that the orange? You're, you're, you're jumping the gun, man. We're not on the mid. The, I like smelling things. We're not on the protein yet. Damn. Wait your, wait your turn, dude. Oh. No. Okay. It's a surprising taste, though. Yeah. What is this? What's berry? I know, but what's the? It's a greens and reds product. It's got like a lot of, a lot of nutrients and some probiotics and stuff. Like the nutrients you get from your vegetables. Vegetables. It's got some servings of vegetables and some servings of fruits, and then it's got some probiotics. Dude, I would, I would be on board with this one. You like it? Yeah. I, I like it too, but it's like a weird. It's almost too red berry. Yeah. Yeah. There's too much of the red, and not yeah. enough of like. like it a, tastes like raspberry. It tastes like raspberry, pretty much. Yeah. But you do get a hint of the healthy stuff in there. Which, which makes you feel like you're getting the greens. It tastes good for a greens product, though. Yeah. yeah. It tastes way better than some of the other ones. I think I think it needs like a blueberry or something. Like It's too much of the red. Yeah. It's good, though. Yeah, it's not bad. I had a greens product this morning, and I have to mix it. I have to like douse it in orange juice to get it down. Otherwise, it just takes a Or you take it like a shot. Yeah, just that's play. rough too, though. All right, so that's a daily. Yeah, it's a daily. Yeah, I could drink that daily. Yeah, I could too. I think so. Yeah. Chris, Chrissy gets one, and she literally just she she does like it's like one part greens, and then it's like a full cup of orange juice. <laughs> like that's the only way she can put it down. All right. So we'll do the other one, which is the actual flavor. I don't know why he sent me the mixed berry. I wasn't really trying to get the mixed berry. I don't know, that didn't taste bad though. Yeah, but this is the flavor that I actually asked him. Oh, okay. The pineapple mango. So this is the pineapple mango. That smells pretty good actually. Yeah, it does. It doesn't smell like the other one. Mm. Wow, dude, it smells like an IPA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Doesn't it? Yeah, it does actually. Little citrus, little yeah. stinky. It smells like beer, dude. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Just mix it with beer. Yeah. All right, cheers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's actually really good. That's yeah. really good. Wow. Yeah, I'll take one right now. That's way better. Yeah, that's a much better flavor. No, that's awesome. Yeah. Doesn't taste like beer. It's weird. Cause <laughs> it's weird. Kind of sad about it now. Yeah. It's weird because of how horrible it looks. Mm -hmm. Like it looks like green wheatgrass sludge. See, but some of the other ones that I had from like other big name greens used to leave a lot of like chunky powders. <clears throat> yeah, the mixability on the greens, I think, is like that's how I, I think that's how you gauge. The goodness of the greens product. Like if it's a shitty greens product, there will be a lot of residue and yeah. like shit on the bottom. But if it's like a high quality greens product, I feel like it doesn't leave as much grit on the bottom. You guys like that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that one yeah. actually a lot. Send it. I could drink that. Yeah. What was that? Strawberry. Strawberry mango. So this is supposed to. The reason I did this one was to mix the two. So if you didn't like the taste of the greens product, you could stack them together. So this is supposed to be strawberry, mango, margarita. Then you just spilled all of it. What? You just spilled all of it. Did it? Yeah. I mean, the mix berry still. Oh, shit. That sounds good. Yeah. I think we just need to add some coloring for this one. Definitely. Because we don't really, I don't add coloring to this stuff normally, but I think this, one, you, this one kind of requires a little bit. What color would you go? Like a little bit. Lemon, lime, or bit of, would you go um, red, pink? I'd probably go like a pink. Yeah. yeah. Like it's got a hint of the pink. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Sour. Yes. Good aftertaste, though. Oh yeah. I don't 
hit. Wow, that's really sour. It is. I don't really get a whole lot of mango. I don't. Do you? Mm-hmm. It's like, it's, I think there, a little it's bit there in the aftertaste. Yeah. It's acidic, like yeah. pineapple. Mm-hmm. But it's good. The aftertaste is good. Yeah. And I think the sour may be kind of a good thing, really. People like sour. Yeah. You also got to think, you're mixing this into what? Eight ounces? Yeah, I, I mixed it with six and a half ounces of yeah. water. So You're supposed to mix it with like 12. So, so it's, it's a little, little heavy. It's a little constant. Yeah. So it's going to dilute it a little bit mm-hmm. more, which will end up giving you the flavor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. I like it. I think people would like the sour, like how sour it is. Oh, yeah. I like the aftertaste of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get the mango in I don't get the mango in the first half of it. Information. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too many changes. Not too many changes. That's always nice. So hopefully these ones will be available by June. Fucking go right now. Hopefully by June. I'm not gonna give it a date, but hopefully by June we'll have at least the greens, potentially a couple more. So at least the greens. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next clip. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.
All right, guys, back in the car. So, what happened? Did not do anything after the deadlifts. Why did I not do anything after the deadlifts? Two reasons. One, it's like nine o'clock. I have to get up early. All right, I can't spend all day at the gym. Still have two more meals to get in. Two, body was feeling pretty tired after the deadlifting. All right. Uh, right now, I'm kind of scaling back the training a little bit because the weights I'm dealing with are so heavy that I have to kind of monitor what I do, right? This is a deadlift session. It was a heavy deadlift session. Went for five, 675 for five, and then I did five paused reps at 605. It's a lot of heavy volume. I'm also doing two leg days a week, right? Like I'm doing my dynamic day where I'm getting leg legs and leg accessories on that day and so I'm, I'm i'm still hitting legs twice a week technically um but on my max effort day i've been kind of scaling it back a little bit i'm not doing a ton extra especially if it's a deadlift day just because i need to i need to monitor and stay healthy and i don't want to overdo it right so i'm scaling back and it's totally okay i'm not scaling back every every max effort day but i have to know where to draw the line right You'll notice in the beginning of the video I did, I was walking on the treadmill backwards. Got that from the knees over toes guy. Try to help uh, build up some knee strength and tendon strength and kind of get rid of some of the pains and aches in my knees. And I've actually really liked that. So I've been doing that for four minutes on, on my leg days. Uh, I think he says to do it every day, but I've, I've been doing it primarily just on my lower body days. And then I did my warm ups, you know, planks, clamshells, leg swings, all that type of stuff that I got from Australian strength coach. I've kind of mon I've adjusted my deadlift um, warm-ups to get kind of a around that. And I've liked that since I've, I've switched to that warm-up and I threw the sets and everything that I did um, in that. But yeah, I felt pretty good. 675 for five is a nice little PR. Added two reps to my 675 pull. Uh, the last time I did, I pulled it for three reps and this time pulled it for five. And I probably, I don't know if I could have squeaked out a sixth, um, but definitely can add to that. I, I, the goal, I think, is to be able to hit that for eight by the time the meet comes around. Because if I can hit that for eight, that puts me in that high 700s uh, on deadlift, and I feel pretty confident with that. Um, so, yeah, I feel really good. Like I said, my deadlift has been struggling um, the last couple months and I found out what the issue was it turns out my feet were just too wide apart when I was setting up on sumo I was going way too wide and so I brought my feet in a little bit narrow it feels way better can I can get a better uh, leverage and wedging myself into the bar and actually feel pretty strong there so feeling good keeping the mobility going feeling real good so happy with today yeah stronger by the day 11 weeks out I'm feeling good, feeling good. Make sure you guys check out blasthouse.com. We're gonna have new subs here soon. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna make a separate video about that, but it's been a nightmare trying to get supplements going. Um, so we're gonna hit some delays here soon, I think. But it is it is what it is, make and do. Um, not for the week, new episodes every week. If you're not already, subscribe to this because I'm dropping videos every week and I'm going to start adding more videos in here as well. But yeah, I love you guys. Appreciate you guys if you made it this far. You guys are real ones. Love y'all. I'll talk to you next time. Stay safe, my friends. Peace.